Hey everybody, this is my tour of the Bunker Hill Cemetery. Um, it's the next cemetery that's up just past where the Presbyterian one is, just a little further down the road. So um, pre I pretty much just followed the road to get to these places. Um, Bunker Hill Universalist Pioneer Cemetery established in 1855. Let me tell you what you can and can't do there on the signs. I think the drones is kind of sad. You can't take like overhead pictures, but um again i was kind of doing those angles um with the pictures to kind of do with some music that i didn't end up using um so oh well um again there's a lot of old stones here too and i think some miami university students came over and did some gardening work here if i was told correctly um and these stones are at least um Let's see, if they go back to the 1850s, that puts them at about 160 years old, some of them. So, I mean, you know, almost as old as our country, some of these places um, are. So, I mean, you're looking at some serious history here. I think they, in the way, the flowers maybe have too much. <laughs> I'd say flowers behind the stones, but not in front of them, maybe. Maybe. You know, that's my personal opinion. So you can still read what they say. I mean, if the flowers are in front of them, they can't be seen. Um, but anyway, um, so there are some veterans buried here. You can see the the American flags. Um, I'm not sure if I wasn't really taking a picture of each individual stone here nearly as much as I did with the Presbyterian one. Um, you can see that one says 1812 on it in Washington something um, so I did get a I guess I did get a few shots that were individual I took these pictures a few months ago so I'm kind of out of sync with what they were Hannah well liver and something well liver mm, they were born in the late 1770s so I mean these people were like 1772, that was four years before the country gained independence. Um, that one has a nice rose on it. It's a big tall one. Um, so again, yeah, I mean, these, uh, these stones are nice to go see. There's another, especially, there's those big ones there. They're actually the first ones from where you park that you can actually, uh, look at but I don't know for some reason I started taking pictures from the other end of the cemetery that day um, again I mean the flowers are nice but like I would just say put them behind the stones so that they can still be red or something behind and around but not in front of um, it's a really really it's a really small cemetery um, there, but I mean these stones, like I said, they're 160 years old. So I mean they're it's neat to look at them. Those those stones, especially those big ones that are in the front, um, they're big. They have the detailing on them. Uh, those are cool to look at. They look Western in some respect. I guess my own personal perception wants me to call them Western. Um. So yeah, um, it's another good local cemetery to check out.